In even this video, I'll briefly just look at some uh, passages or comments by Peter Buckman on this Romans 10 issue and shows you how they just throw out all common sense. Romans 3, he had, if you believe in the blood, you believe in Christ, you're saved. Trust in, trust in the blood, trust in Jesus, which is a correct state. Then he goes here, Romans 10, 13. This is what causes a panic in heaven, a celebration in, a panic in hell, excuse me, and a celebration in heaven. God either told the truth or he didn't. Now, it can't be possibly maybe the salvation 10, 13 isn't the eternal salvation. You ever think of that? <laughs> if you call upon his name for salvation as found in verses 9 and 10, there's no calling upon Romans 10, 9, 10. That's confession. Confession isn't calling. Calling is a confession. See, they can't, can't get over that. JT does, JT, JT puts in there, these two things you're saved. You, you know, you believe in your heart and you confess with the mouth, you're saved. Oh, no, you have to be calling. But calling isn't confession. So which is it? They want to make the confession to calling. That's like JT gets upset with Robert Waker trying to make calling believing. Calling isn't believing. But calling isn't confessing either. He, he, confession either. But he said, all you have to do is believe in my heart and can, can confess with the mouth. And you'll be saved. But now you're the one sent there to call. And they want they want to try to make the confession the calling and the calling the confession. Because they can't get around that. You're supposed to be saved when you confess. So they got two ways of being saved in Romans 10 13. And they want to just combine them into one. Well, we got confession and calling here. So we'll make the confessions. Yeah, you confess with the mouth, but you have to call. <laughs> but if the confession makes it, it gets you saved, what well, do you have to call? If you call upon his name for salvation, it's found in verses 9 to 10. He saves you whether you know it or not. You know why he had to say that? Because when he got, he made his prayer in his his testimony, he knew he was saved. See, in his testimony, he'll tell you he got saved when he, in the church when he heard the full gospel. But now he's coming back in this thing saying, well, yeah, yeah, I, you know, when the, when the, the, the uh, person, the individual was t pressing him on it. Now you know you're saved. Now you know you say saved. He says prayer. You know, yeah. He admits in his testimony. Oh, I didn't know he was saved. I just told him, you know, kind of you know, let me off, you know, leave me alone. But now he has to say, here, well, you're saved with you know that. He, in, in his testimony, he says, I don't know when I was saved. That's what Buckman says. Buckman says he doesn't know when he was saved. That's what you get with these guys. That's what you get. Romans 10 is a place where if you want to get salvation, that's the last place you go. It's for Jews. It was Paul was warning Jews about their problem, about the issue of faith. They had a faith problem. They wouldn't believe. I looked at more JT's uh, booklet uh, and uh, uh, tomorrow and uh, uh, next few days. But this is the nonsense. This is nonsense you can see in JT, JT, uh, uh, JT's booklet, booklet as well. Trying to, trying to mix up terms. He said two things require you to be saved. Belief in the heart, right? And confession with the mouth. Well, now you got a third thing, calling. And what Buckman wants to do is, if you, do those, if you call and do those things, ten, you're doing those, if the calling is really ten, Romans 10, 9, 10. Oh, no, Romans 10, 9, 10 isn't calling. Romans 10, 9, 10 is confessing. Calling is a confessing. Confessing. Calling is asking. Confessing is an acknowledgement, which JT, JT admits. Calling is asking. Calling is prayer. That's the confusion of Romans 10. Amen. Thank you.